Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show how Canvas AI powered code assistant helps create wall code integrations in just a couple of minutes. I wanted to use something real for this demo, so I have chosen Salesforce and Visma Business Next, where we are going to extract the opportunities from Salesforce and import them as sales orders into Visma Business Next. Let's start. We go to the Workforce page. We select a new one. We use from scratch. Then we select both applications here and give a workflow name. Let's keep it simple. Now we go to the Workflow Editor page and here we can see all the blocks available for those tabs. And for this demo, we just need to get the Opportunities block. We need a code block where we'll do the mapping and we need to infer sales orders to this map. So now I need to do a little bit of configuration for those blocks. It's very simple. I need, first of all, I need to add the Vista Company ID and I'm going to use my test company here. And I want to specify that we match customers by company name. And I choose data source for this block is our JavaScript code block. And here I need to do the same. I need to select data source for the get opportunities block. OK, now I can save, and before doing any mapping, I want to run just this one block first. I do that so the OS can get some examples of opportunities and create a mapping. OK, it is done, we have our test opportunity here, and now we can go to the code block. Here is a sample code which we are going to remove and I'm going to write just a couple lines of code first. So as you can see, I just created, I just added a couple of lines where we put the opportunities from the previous block to the variable, and I can help the code assistant. Just notice, this is array. Now, I'm not going to create any mappings. We are going to ask the code assistant for that. So let's expand this. Let's go to the code assistant and I have prepared a very simple prompt where I basically ask the baselines available source and target models. We ask to create the JavaScript snippet that will map the fields. So let's see what we will get in response. While it is thinking, I can also mention that we never sent any real data to the AI platform that we use. We only sent the model that is created in Canvas, field types and field names, but no actual data is transferred. So we can see here that it created quite a big mapping with a lot of default values assigned to different fields, which we can easily remove but I think for now, let's just keep them. So it just copies the code. We don't do any changes here. Let's save and let's run. It was mapped. And it is done. As you can see, we successfully created the sales order in Visma. And here is our mapping. As you can see, I didn't write any code to my app anything. I didn't change anything. It was perfectly fine from the first attempt. Of course, we can go through the fields and maybe alter something, but it's perfectly fine for the beginning. That's all I wanted to show for today. Thank you for watching and goodbye.